right, all right, all right. Welcome back, all my street punks. Cool cats, real rats. All my investigators out there. We are talking about corporations again. Welcome back to another episode. The tabletop role-playing game, Carbon 2185. In the last video, we talked about the Garcia Group. But in this one, we're discussing Houston Dynamics. Before we jump into it, be sure to like the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. All the social media links are down below. Subscribe if you like this kind of content and you want to see more. Now, let's get into it. The market details. They are traded as H-O-D-Y. For those that likes to dabble in the economics of 2185 or the lack thereof depending on how you create this with your GM it's a beautiful thing the CEO of Houston Dynamics is Thomas Holden you call him Tommy you call him Tom you call him Thomas what what do you call him sure not to screw that one up by the way country of origin is the USA United States of America and the industries are cybernetics robotics and personal tech the engineers at houston dynamics were the first to reverse engineer shenzhen solutions original Neuralink, offering a cheaper alternative and making the company incredibly wealthy after the Neuralink success they began production on cybernetic quality of life enhancements with a focus on the nervous system Unlike most other mega corporations, Houston Dynamics focused on enhancements designed for consumer use rather than for the military. Good for them. This consumer first approach elevated their designer cybernetics to must have infamy. Ironically, Houston Dynamics got their start over 150 years ago by creating the very first combat robots for the US military. Hmm. So while they, uh, are actively creating for the public non-military they did get their start in the military that's uh, pretty interesting most mechs on the market these days are still created by houston dynamics or from stolen houston dynamic designs such market dominance has led to a pleasing uniformity in mechs despite the variability in source manufacturing as always Big thanks to everybody that tuned in to check these out. Super short, super sweet videos on corporate details. Giving you a little bit of background on these corporations to help flesh out your worlds a little bit. What they're about, what country they're from, who runs them. Remember to check out all the social links below. Toss it a like, that really does help the channel, so I appreciate that. Leave some comments, let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you don't want to see. Be sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. We'll check you next time.